Good morning, dudes. Happy Thursday. Uh, cut test time on the Serge Panchenko Slip 7. I've been carrying this every day since I got it. Really like it. Um, I mean, the walk and talk is just so nice and snappy and poppy. The pull is pretty strong. Um, I decided to leave the clip on because uh, this is so thin and lightweight that I stick it in my waistband and my athletic shorts when I go running. Um, but if I want to carry this secondary knife, I made a slip that can uh, accommodate the clip as well. Which I, If I'm at work, it's usually carried like this. Except yesterday I actually carried this as my primary and it worked pretty good. Thin behind the edge, we're looking at around 13 thousandths. Um, I did put a nice fresh new edge on it. The one that it came with was pretty good. It just wasn't stropping up to as sharp as I wanted, so I ended up putting in my edge on it with the WorkSharp Precision Adjust. Um, pretty thin blade stock, M390 blade steel. This should be a real good slicer. It's going to be great for utility cutting. And we got a little bit of belly, too, uh, to work with. So pretty much all around perfect blade shape. And um, let's go see how she cuts. All right, Bow Wow, who let the dogs out? Time for cutting with the Slip 7. Nice and sharp. Not the factory edge. I put one on with the work sharp. Let's put on the cut proof glove for safety and we're gonna start on some cardboard. Double wall thickness. It's the thick stuff, folks. And this knife is taking care of business. That thin measurement behind the edge, that thin blade stock, just overall thinness is, uh, you know, <laughs> it's uh, making short work of the cardboard. It really is. As I expected, but it's always fun to, uh, you know, actually see it work. If this was regular thickness cardboard, I mean, it would be like cutting through, uh, I don't know, a sheet of paper, you know? How about some utility cutting? This is going to be one of this blade's specialties. Oh, yeah. Nice and thin behind the tip. This is the same thick cardboard too, by the way. It's doing very, very well. Very well. As I expected. Let's try some curves. Yeah, there we go. We got a little curve there. Next, we're going to do some food prep style kind of chopping on a cutting board type things, um, which is going to be kind of the weak point of this blade shape. We do have a little belly, but it's not enough to really rock back onto, um, as you'll see here in a minute. I actually hang my hand off of the edge of this 2x4 to help me uh, use more of the belly of the blade. Uh, as you can see, but, uh, you know, if I was on a cutting board or something like that, um, these types of cuts will be a little more difficult. Cutting on the leather glove here. A couple of slight little sawing motions to get through it, but uh, not too shabby. It's cleanly cutting through. This is a small slip joint so uh yeah the fact that it's doing all of this stuff uh is, is great rubber tubing not bad at all again i'm hanging my hand off the edge of the 2i4 to help me do the cut there cecil rope whoops Missed that one. All right, how we doing? 
Hey, not bad at all. I was a little surprised on that one. I thought, uh, I don't know. I, I thought we were kind of getting dull here for a second, but uh, it seems to really not have a problem with the Cecil rope. Again, we'll see when we get to cutting the paper at the end how well the, uh, the edge has held up. I haven't heard much about um, this M390 that uh, Penchenko is using. I don't know who his OEM is. I don't think he has disclosed that information. If anyone knows, let me know. We got a little bit of stick left on there. Still feels sharp. Action still feels exactly the same. Now, this knife has no business cutting through two inch heavy duty strap, but we're gonna do it anyways. I think it's a good test for the, the toughness and durability of a slip joint. It's a lot of pressure that I'm putting into the cut there. About halfway. Not bad. The ergos are fine. You know, there's really nothing to cause you a hot spot, but it is a, a skinny, small handle. So, you know, it, it doesn't fill out your hand uh, very well at all. Um, but there weren't any uh, major hot spots or any hot spots at all, really. Just, it's a small, thin object. There you go. It kind of blazed through the testing, really. I mean, uh, impressive, really. Very impressive. Um, yeah, the action feels exactly the same. Really nice and stiff. Let's see how the edge held up. This graph paper is really thin, thinner than regular paper. And yeah, we got a good cut. It was having a little troubles. But uh, let's try the magazine paper, which is easier to get through. And we got a couple nice long cuts, which is a very good thing, very good sign. Definitely not as sharp as it was before we started, but uh, totally acceptable. Actually, you know, uh, definitely on the, the quite good side of edge retention that I, as far as I can tell here. But we're gonna give it a quick strop and um, see how it does after the strop, see how uh, this M390 does after uh, a little strippity strop. I just replaced the leather on my strop, which uh, is a good idea to do, folks. Uh, for, I don't know why I just hadn't crossed my mind to do it until uh, my buddy Michael uh, made me think of it, rem you know, reminded me. And uh, just get any leather, you know, peel off the old one, cut your cut yourself a piece, and uh, I used uh, super glue to attach the new piece. It's nice to have a nice freshie on there. So after the stropping, you saw nice and sharp. Pretty much back to where we were before we started the testing, feels like. So, very good. I just love the look of this thing. It's uh, it's so kind of industrial feeling, you know. Um, this is a knife that you can scratch up all you want, and it's still just going to look fantastic because of the heavy, dark stone wash that's all over everything. Um... It's just a knife that's meant to be used, you know? Uh, I, I can't wait to continue having this in my pocket. And, um, you know, obviously I'm always going to rotate and switch things out, but this is going to be heavily in the rotation in the uh, foreseeable future for me. Um, also, as I was sharpening this knife on my work sharp, that nice, very nice sharpening choil was so good to have. So excellent, man. You know, it's not uh, too often that we get a smaller size slip joint with a very good sharpening choil. It just doesn't happen that often for whatever reason. So um, that was just real nice to see and experience. Um, this knife's 140 bucks. I think it's a no-brainer. Uh, you know, if you like the aesthetic, it performs well, and um, I just all around really like it. That's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Please like the video before you bounce. I would appreciate it, and I'll see you soon. Alrighty.